Hey, what's up guys, Mike here. Today we're gonna be doing something a little different and a little fun. We're gonna go outside, right out the back door, and collect hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of bugs to feed the Kurai Tetras over here in the new forest tank. I guess they're not technically bugs yet. It's it's insect larvae. You'll see what I'm talking about in just a second, but it should end up being pretty fun. These Kurai Tetras, they go crazy on pretty much anything, especially live foods. If you guys are new to the channel or haven't watched videos in a little while, make sure you go and check out the forest tank setup video. I'll have it as the top link in the description. It was a really fun build and I can tell a lot of you guys are really liking this tank right now, as I am. Before we go outside and grab the food, I wanna say thank you so much for the last video. 3,000 likes was the goal. You guys destroyed it. The video, I think, right now has like 4,500 likes. It's crazy. It helped the video out so much. It got blasted out to a ton of new people, and I just, it means a lot. Thank you so much, guys. For this video, let's set a like goal of 4,000 likes, and I'll tell you what, if we can hit 5,000 likes on this video, guys, we'll add some livestock to the Wine Glass Aquarium this week. Okay, it's up to you. Let's actually grab this bucket and bring it inside. There are hundreds and hundreds of these mosquito larvae in this bucket. As I get closer to the bucket, if I come up here and tap it, they all freak out and go and hide. There they go. And that's gonna make it a little bit more tough to collect them all, but it shouldn't take too long. This bucket has been sitting outside for I don't even know how long, two months. It was just something that I used to waterlog this piece of spider wood, and the inevitable ended up happening. We ended up with a ton of mosquito larvae. Let's grab a beaker here and grab some tank water from the forest aquarium, and we will Try not to catch any fish. Okay, guys, really? Come on now. Let's try this again over here. There we go, no fish. We'll take this piece of wood out of here, and now let's wait. Two minutes later, they're all back up at the surface, guys. Let's see if we can do this as sneakily as possible. Whoop, there's so many in there, guys. Here, just a second. Ew, I can feel them wiggling on me. Okay, all right, that, that's enough. Hey buddies, don't mind me, I'm not here. Gotcha! I think we have pretty much all of them, guys. Let's check out these guys in the clean container here. Cool how they all hang out at the surface and then when you freak them out, they just go hide at the bottom. But they're about to get eaten, guys, by these Kurai Tetris guys. These fish have no idea what they're in for. They're about to have probably their best day ever. Put this up here for now, get them excited. Actually, they might no, what's they might be able to see no can they can they tell what's going on right now oh yeah yeah they know what's going on now look at their try <laughs> that's so cool <laughs> they're all trying to eat them let's go get the gopro we'll set it in there and then it's time to get feeding And just like that, guys, all, who knows, 700 mosquito larvae are all gone. There might be a couple still kicking around here that managed to hide, but it does not take the curries here very long to just destroy a ton of food. It's always good to feed your fish a varied diet if you have the ability to, guys. I typically, with these curries, go back and forth between a dried food. Let me see if I can find it. These micro pellets by Hikari. There's a little two-pack on Amazon that I usually buy. I'll put a link for those down in the description just in case you're looking for some good food. I like the size of those. It's also perfect for feeding the neon tetras that we have in the tank next door. And then the other thing I do is I feed frozen blood worms maybe once a week, twice a week if, if these guys are lucky. 
They really love the frozen bloodworms. Most other fish really love them as well. And so if you have the ability to feed those every once in a while, just as like a little treat, I think it's a good idea. Live foods are not something that these guys get all the time. It's definitely a treat for them. And I mean, the mosquito larvae, I really only have access to them during the summer and then a little bit into the fall. As you can tell, the bucket still had some in there. They start out really, really tiny, the mosquito larvae. You got to be patient. You don't want to feed them when they're really tiny. You want to let them mature a little bit, get to the point where they're about to hatch and if as long as you just go in there with the net every once in a while throughout the summer and clean them out you shouldn't have an issue with a ton of mosquitoes in your backyard or anything like that and what's really cool is that if you guys decide to make a deck pond then you have a great source of mosquito larvae right there I always got that question in those videos where we made the deck ponds is how do you deal with the mosquitoes where you just you either put fish in them that are gonna eat the larvae so they're never a problem or you just make sure you go in and net those suckers out before they hatch and then you have free food for your fish that are inside so in my opinion it's a win-win and check this out guys you see that in the middle that looks like a crane fly. I wonder if the cur eyes will be down to eat those. There's some more in a, in a little bucket out there. Maybe that'll be the next video. If you guys like this video, don't forget to hit a like on it. That tells me that you like the video. It also helps the channel out a ton. And like I said, if we get 5,000 likes on this video, we'll throw something into the wine glass aquarium. And as a bonus, I think we'll do another cool insect feeding video with something like this. Thanks again for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. Hit the notification bell so you know when I upload the next video. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time.